Big Brother's bit on the side. As you should know by now, our Sunday shows are squeaky clean, super refined and mega civilised. Uh, you know, like Ashley kissing Luke S when she's got a cold sore. Uh, anyway, for reasons best known to themselves, some viewers decided to fritter away this week's viewing time on that there Olympics. Why? Why? It happens every four years. A Big Brother house of this vintage will only happen once. I am telling you that for free. Uh, lucky for you, though, I am all heart. Here's a recap of the week just gone by. <laughs> How would you like the chance to win Dina her letter? Fuck off! Ah! Oh, what the fuck? You're going to be playing spy. Huh? Playing spy? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice crunch to be <laughs> This week, each housemate who received a nomination will face the public vote. I really hope they get some of these evil tosses out. I don't like it at all. Who did you find I like when you... Connor. You're sitting taking the piss out of me. <laughs> you are so insensitive. Don't try and make out that like I'm a fucking arsehole. When did I say you were an arsehole? Get... When we're in bed, it does smell like onions. Like onions? Mm. Oh, chocolate spread. Oh, oh my God. Times 50. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. What a week it has been. Uh, so let's get started. Here to talk us through all that insania are three Big Brother brain boxes. Our first guest likes nothing more than to make an ass of himself in front of the, uh, an audience every night, basically. A bit like Luke S, to be honest. Uh, it's Donkey in Shrek the Musical, a.k.a. Richard Blackwood! <laughs> Joining him is clinical psychologist Dr. Funke before. Round of applause, please. <laughs> Thank you. How dare they? <laughs> and finally, over the past 55 days, we've seen her hair and her bitching go from tame to totally feral. It's a victory number eight. It's Caroline. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You're very welcome. Uh, but before I set them loose, Jamie wants to know your thoughts on what is probably the most important question of 2012. Jamie? Yep, that's right, Alice. Usually we keep the chat in the phone room strictly BB, but tonight I want you guys to think of me as friendly, liberal and laid back, just like a Luke A pretends to be. We can talk about anything you want, like, is Jesse J this generation's Lulu? No. Essentially, not, as half, not half as light as she thinks she is. It's okay not to be okay, Jesse. Or your cold sores or whatever you want to do. Just get in touch. Details are on the screen now. Back to you, Alice. Thank you very much, Jamie. Uh, this week's shopping task saw the housemates become party animals and the girls' slumber party caused quite a stink between Luke S and Ashley. Richard, would you have been annoyed if your girlfriend had said that you smelled of onions? <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> Tell me. If, if I did smell of onions, I would appreciate that. Sure. Because right? you, you don't want to smell it. Because like, there's a lot of brothers that be thinking that they smell nice. <laughs> And they, you know, they they don't smell too you good. You smell like onions. Yeah, that's exactly. Me. I mean, onions are a bit harsh. <laughs> yeah, that's like a bit school dinnery, isn't it? Yeah, that's cool. I personally went for curry. Yeah, you see, curry yeah, is curry, based yeah, on yeah. what you eat, but yeah, exactly, onions means that you haven't brushed your teeth in a while. Exactly, so what did what did he smell of, Caroline? <laughs> curry. He smelled of curry. He smelled like curry. That's quite specific. Well, just generally his whole body. Mm, yes. So now he'll smell of he chocolate if it's what you eat. He 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 requested to wear Octavia the One Piece all the time. So like, I had ten requests a day, and I'd be like, oh, well, will it be returned smelling like curry? That would be pretty awful. Um, <laughs> Dr. Funke, what did you make uh, of the behaviour uh, when you real when Luke realised what she'd said? Like, what did you make of Ashley's behaviour? Well, Ashley obviously became quite defensive. Reason being, you know, in the beginning, she wasn't quite sure if they knew what she actually said until mm -hmm. Adam said he kind of gave a hint. Then she realised that she had been exposed. Now, the type of person Ashley is, she couldn't accept that she did something wrong, so she became defensive. Oh, and then she said, I don't care. By saying I don't care, it silenced the person, rather than admitting I did wrong. But, you know. She just I needed one little word. Sorry. I'm sorry. A bit half sorry, she said that I don't care to her boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, she no, said I don't care. That relationship's on the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think a lot of people think that. Um, you said last night, Caroline, that they're not going to last. So why did, did they get... You did, actually, yeah. Oh. It's, a, it's a blur. Don't worry, it's all a blur. Why didn't they got together in the first place? 
<laughs> God, I don't even... Oh, God. You're on TV um, right now. Think about it. Um, okay, so... They got, I think they genuinely like each other, and I think they like having someone. I think they do get along, and they find each other physically attractive. Um, I mean, Ashley wasn't, at, wasn't quite... He, she wasn't quite sure how, how competitive and how keen Luke S was about to become. Mm -hmm. And Luke S wasn't, wasn't entirely aware of how confrontational Ashley was going to become and how like the smoking and the mess was going to annoy him. So they just weren't aware of it. It all happened too quickly. It's all unfolded. They liked each other at the beginning, but now they're finding each other. They're really grating on each other. They can't, they can't stop it because it's just so awkward. Okay. In tonight's show, um, Ashley blamed uh, Luke S for the booze that she got. <laughs> what was that about, Dr. Funk? Denial! <laughs> well, apart from the denial, the type of person Ashley is, she can't actually look within herself. So it's all about other people are responsible. Mm -hmm. So she put it onto Luke S. It's because of you I got the booze. It's because you highlighted that I did wrong or whatever I said with my girlfriends. But Ashley hasn't got a clue of really what is going on, what we can actually see. And those booze were not necessarily about Lucas. It's about how she's been portraying in the Think house. Think about it, Ashley. Think about yourself, yeah? <laughs> uh, well, after the slumber party, the couple continued to be a source of embarrassment to each other when they sat down with the rest of the house for a formal dinner party. Take a look at this. Are we going to do it when we go to a nice restaurant? Are you going to be in character going to then? Not going lick our sauce with our finger off the plate. Would you be in character? Is that what you're going to do? Be in character? What kind of no. character are you going to be? No. <laughs> but I wouldn't lick the plate with my finger. What kind a, of character was tonight? Why not? We were in a formal dinner. We had to act as if we were at a formal dinner party. No, honey, we didn't have to act as anything. We did. Said in the rules. <laughs> no. <laughs> Caroline, you're laughing now and you seem to be egging Ashley on then. What was that about? Oh my god, we spent the whole dinner party absolutely wetting ourselves. Lee Castle was being so weird. He was like, mmm, this asparagus has such a crunch to it. <laughs> but wasn't, but wasn't that part of the task? Wasn't he just playing the part? No, it was bizarre. No one asked him to say, but make these pretentious comments like you were about at the asparagus. You a dinner party, didn't you? No, it was very odd. And then he was being so unbelievably cringy and like, asking these weird questions. And like, oh my god, it was the funny. It was literally. So Richard, you're neutral. Whose side were you on? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, was on. Just, I was just listening to you speak. Um, <laughs> I just love it. Um, no, to be honest with you, I think that once again, we, you're not seeing what's happening. Yeah. She is what we class on the street as chief in her boyfriend. She is <laughs> disrespecting. She's showing him up. She's showing him up. Like, you know, like, you're supposed to have his back. Yeah. Pull him to the side and say, listen, babe. Stop talking about You don't really talk asparagus. like that. And asparagus is not that deep. But she made sure that she did it in front of everybody because <laughs> yeah. she's not really into him. I know, I think you gave her too much props. Richard props wants that. to see some respect. Just be respectful, just be, No, just, just, just treat him like he's your man. <laughs> but he's not a man. Well, Jake, we were just laughing. Late last night, uh, you know, like uh, the rave saw Connor and Dean, and we need to talk about that because they were brought together for three and a half hours, which I think we all wanted to see in a confined mm. space. Yeah. Let's remind ourselves. Don't worry, the one I said brought for me was whenever we were doing the, remember the buzzer task, the laughter task? Buzzer task? The what? The buzzer task? Yeah. Where we had the suits on. We were all getting buzzed. Okay, yeah. And they were all, ah! But it yeah. wasn't hurting me. But I only screamed a few times when, it, when they did turn it off. Right? And like, I'm not gonna scream for when, no reason, honestly. Whenever, say, um, we're all standing there and the music was on, you're like, ah! I just love how concentrated Ashley was. Um, Caroline, Connor was one yeah. of your best friends in there. Recently, he's cleared the air with some of his kind of established foes, Scott, Becky, Dina. Yeah. Is that all genuine? Um, I th I, well, I've lived in a house with you know, people I don't like. It's just easier to get along. I mean, when people were like being like, fake, you apologise, and then you read it, it's so much easier to apologise, clear the air, and then find, yeah, accidentally you trip into the trap of yeah. being bitchy and, you know, stuff like that again. But it's so much better just to live with people Smooth you like. Smooth it over. Yeah, it's not, it's not fake, it's genuine. He wants to be, be, befriend people. Okay, um, Dr. Funke, why does Dina need that um, kind of explanation from Connor about why they're not friends? She's constantly chasing it. You know, if we look at Dina, I see her as being the queen of the house. I know a lot of people won't, might not believe it, but she has a strategy. And the thing that, even though Connor said slightly why he found her annoying it wasn't anything concrete so for dina's ego it's like well tell me why don't you like me you haven't really told me why you don't like me so for if he's not confrontation towards her she hasn't got an answer to the questions that she mm -hmm. has in mind and i think dina just needs to be reassured in a sense well, and she likes to fix things doesn't she if, if there's a problem very she much she wants to fix it. it she wants to be liked yeah and she is you know she is a nice person 
Okay, well, we also need to talk about the shopping list, of course. <laughs> yes, that is still the reigning Why? terror of the house. What was wrong um, with that? Adam and Luke reacted quite aggressively, uh, whereas our alphas, Connor and Luke S, seem quite calm in comparison. What was that about, Dr. Funke? I mean, the chocolate gate is one that I will never forget. I mean, Caroline, I mean, it caused a lot of storm. But we say they acted aggressively. I think they held themselves back a bit because that could have been a massive confrontation. And oh, I what... would have covered her in melted chocolate. I'd have been livid. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the reason why, you know, people say, why do they act aggressively? They she took away everything they wanted, the food. Luke A likes to cook. Adam and Luke like to smoke. So the two fundamental things were taken away from them. So obviously left them feeling kind of, well, what do they do next? Yeah. Caroline, why on earth were you picked to do that shopping list? No, I volunteered. <laughs> I was like, I want to do it. I want to do it. I can read my writing. I'm mean to get in. And then despite Adam being like, please, just remember the cigarettes. Please, Caroline. Come on, Caroline. Just remember the cigarettes. Oh, no, so I don't. Is that because the plan was in? You planned it for a while. So I just... knew I was leaving. I was a, a, a million percent percent sure I was leaving. And realistically, my, my dream would be to spend 24 hours with an unlimited amount of chocolate. Fine. I thought <laughs> Not it was everyone's a, dream, though, as it turned out. Yeah, it was a joke. Um, now, I could speak forever, but I know what you guys are thinking. You've heard the views of this uh, talking donkey, the funkiest doctor in the world, <laughs> and uh, a shopping list saboteur. But when is it your turn? Well, it's actually right now. Uh, get in touch on Twitter or through our website. After the break, we'll be trawling through the minds of our housemates, and Jamie will be revealing some excuse exclusive and exclusive house action. See you in a bit. <laughs> Like Lucas, we get light boos from the crowd on eviction night, but who cares? We're on five star. Yeah. Uh, time to take an extended look at the housemates' diary room chats. Adam's completely self-obsessed. Like he's just he's just got a straight game plan. He's got such a game plan going on and it's just like, what the actual heck? And so basically, I'm going to start smoking and I'm going to smoke about 40 a day, but I'm only going to sit in the smoking shelter. And then when I get too hot, I'm going to come inside, lie on the settees and fall asleep. But I don't want to talk to any housemates and I I literally think I'm going to win. I just want to embody the character of Adam and Luke A. And I'm just, honestly, I'm just going to, oh, it's going to be so good. I'm very angry because now I look like a frog. <laughs> because I lent my makeup to Ashley and she has warts on her lip. And now I have caught it. Herpes. Herpes. <laughs> and she still asked to lend my lipstick. Why does she do that? If she knows that she gets these things on her lips, why does she use my lipstick? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. I look like a frog. You look like a platypus. <sighs> what are the rules regarding wake up? Um, when the alarm goes off, uh, wake up and sit up in bed, sorry. I sort of sat up and then rested my eyes. What are you going to do when you leave the diary room? I'm going to go to the lavatory. And I'm going to watch the kitchen and make tea. And then I'm going to sit on the sofa and drink it. That sounds splendid. That is splendid. So yes, I'll have a jolly good time doing that. Happy Sunday. You're free to leave the diary room. Thank you very much. That is a strong outfit. Uh, so it's time to get up close and personal inside the minds of our housemates. And thankfully, Dr Funke is still in our VIP area. She's going to help us. Uh, last night, Becky said the house had become just like turf wars all over again. What's going on with the insiders and the outsiders, Dr Funke? Basically, there's a clear divide. I mean, we've always talked about the insiders and the outsiders. But it's important to know about what are the outsiders. I think Dina is the most powerful person in the house at the moment. I know I said Luke A before, but Dina has taken her reign. change your mind. I thank you very much, <laughs> Alice. And the reason being is that she's re renamed the group. They're called the soldiers. We're at war. And she gives them these positive inspirations to keep going and keep fighting. Now, because of the eviction of Caroline on Friday... 
the thing, person that we need to look out for is Scott because he has to make up his mind. Mm. Zara has already moved to the insiders because she realises they're more popular. To the outsiders. To the outsiders, sorry, mm -hmm. sorry, to the outsiders. So Scott, he doesn't really quite fit in with the insiders. He's a drifter. And he doesn't quite fit in with the outsiders, but he can't sit on the fence anymore. He so can't. it's going to be a really crucial week for him this week. Especially not in that fur cloak. Yes. Um, Richard, which <laughs> group would you be in? Which one would I? You see, I'm sorry. I'd be on the outsiders. What? I would. I'm Why would sorry. you say that? No, I appreciate. I appreciate you. I told you this, but um, but I. You I guys have been bonding. I, I, I can't believe this has happened. No, we have because I just love what you. You got to see the slippers. I mean, the so, shoes. The shoes she themselves. She's not playing. Are a star. She's not playing. So you'd but, be outsiders all the way. No, I do appreciate way. it, but I no. You know the reason why is because yeah. remember I'm older, and certain things that like, like if she had bought the chocolate. Right, and I was in there, and I'm a person like trying to hilarious. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I, babe, I, Richard now Blackwood would have freaked. Could, you're mad. I would have combed her hair. You're mad. I would have, <laughs> you're, you're, you're mad. Well, things are pretty frosty in there. Take right. a look at this. in this house saying one thing is completely different than doing. I'm that was course. awkward. Why were Adam and uh, Luke there so angry with Ashley over Chocolate Gate? Oh, they'll, they'll, oh, anyone they don't like, they'll, they'll like, intensify their hatred for them so then the public will, will dislike that person. The only reason Ashley received booze on Friday is because they've been in the diary room being like, Ashley's this, I'm making allegations to Ashley. Ashley's a nice person who's never done anything wrong. I um, think maybe some of the Lucas stuff got her a few booze as well, but yeah, I think it was possibly... Yeah, but too. Lucas isn't popular with the public, so... I think I, I love Caroline the mastermind. <laughs> no, um, sorry, Richard. I think they're mani more manipulative than anyone's giving them credit for. Um, Richard, let's talk silent treatment. Not the most mature uh, approach from a 27-year-old no. and a 31-year-old. Yeah, yeah, true. Uh, I agree. What I did you make of agree. that? No, I, I, I think I think you see, you got to remember watching from the outside. I mean, I'm sure you can you can help me with this. But the house intensifies any darkness that you have inside you, <laughs> right? Do you know what I mean? So I, do, I think you forget how old you are or how you're meant mm. to behave, mm. right? And I think yeah. if somebody, uh, somebody's around you 24 seven and they yes. irritate you, there's only two ways you can react. You can either explode, which is really That's not right. good for TV, because yeah. there'd be no more Big Brother, or you, <laughs> you know, you can move to another channel, right? Or, <laughs> you, or you, literally, you literally go silent. So I think that, as much as it's immature watching it, I think that's yeah. probably the best bet rather than saying something they might regret. There are, there are coping mechanisms, Yeah, yeah, go. Coping um, mechanisms. Coping mechanisms, yeah. there it is. Uh, Luke is quick to say he doesn't bitch, but take a look at this. Oh, God, my ass. And Becky as well. Gave her the benefit of the doubt on Monday. You're like a dick. I respect you so much for doing that, Luke. You respect me as much as you respect your fucking... <clears throat> BMI. <laughs> you heard him. Uh, heard him. Why don't these two see themselves as bitches? Because that was one of the bitchiest comments of the whole series, I think. I think that was an extremely bitchy comment for Luke A to make. And I think it, because he was pushed to the limit, but it doesn't give him an excuse. <laughs> but you, in, in that episode there, realise that Dina or Adam didn't say anything about what Luke A said. Yeah. He, they just remained silent. But you notice that Luke A, he coughed before he said the BMI. So it was something he thought about, thought, shall I say it or shall I not say yeah. it? He didn't care, he said it. There was it. an internal debate yes. and he went with say it. Yeah. Uh, well, Caroline's, uh, after Caroline's departure, Dina was desperate to let her fellow soldiers know that she could be trusted. Take a look at this exclusive clip. Because I feel sometimes that you people just don't trust me or something. I, it was, it's it's been... Together. Yeah, I do. It's you been... You proved us wrong twice. twice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so just trust me, okay? You trust me. I know I'm, I'm like, I'm dopey sometimes. And, like, Not that you're dopey, it's the same thing. And I do overanalyze, I know yeah. that. But yeah. just... Yeah, you know, you know what it is. Will Dina oh. ever be a true outsider? 
No. Well, it's not even whether she'll be true outsider. I think she's controlling the group. Mm -hmm. I think what Adam was showing, because Adam's got a few insecurities, so he was because he, he was never sure about Dina. It yeah. was Luke A that sort of reined him in. Look, let her be part of this group. But she's actually the leader of the group. So whether she'll be the outsider, she's actually leading the group because she's very calm. She gives them words of inspiration. She gets them all to pray so they don't get evicted. She's very motivating. She, yeah. Definitely. Do you agree with that, Richard? Is kind of Dina in charge? I, I, I said it like off camera, but I say it on camera. I think she's going to win. I mm. think she's very strategic and I was saying earlier um, to Caroline that when you on a show like this when you are somebody that has been I don't know deemed as bullying you or has a problem with you mm -hmm. what is your problem with me mm. already all the audience is going you better say something constructive she's because if you don't like that yeah no but she's very smart I'm yeah. telling you if she plays it the way she's playing it now I guarantee you. She's so you win. think that is that is a plan that is deliberate? I, I, no, I think she. I think she's in. I think she just knows it. Like there's mm -hmm. some things you just naturally know. Right? Dina just doesn't care about anyone. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. We were really good friends in the house. So basically, completely uh, ignore what Richard just said. <laughs> no, 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 do it. Do it. Go no, for it. Dina and I were really good friends in the house, and she nominated me because she knew that the public didn't like me. So th none of the, those three don't, don't like Becky and they didn't nominate her because Becky's been saved by the public and their game plan is to only nominate people that they want to be up against if the worst case scenario happens and they're up against someone okay. and they, they wanted it to be me. That in the house, Caroline. I, well, I never did a tactical nomination, but maybe okay. some people did. I don't know. I haven't watched the footage. Well, let's talk about Sara now, because after the yeah. uh, eviction, <laughs> Sara seemed to make a special effort in the smoking area. Um, what do we think that was about? Was that deliberate? Well, I think Zara's got this new game plan. Because Zara has been sort of sitting back seat, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden we're seeing her emerge, we're seeing her character emerge. And she's also gone into the outsiders group. I can envisage this week there'll be conflict between Dina and Zara. So who's going to be the queen of the group? And she was very affectionate to Luke A. And Flirting, if you ask me. Very <laughs> odd. Very uncomfortable. <laughs> Inverted commas. But I, I think she's got her game plan, and we're coming towards the end, so she wants to put herself in the forefront so that she can possibly win. Okay, because she has been quite quiet up until now. Um, will uh, this kind of change of heart and this change of group see Sarah through to the final, do you think? Um, if, if, well, I think the audience, she still has to prove herself. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I th you know, I, it's, people always like to see somebody who maybe had been deemed a certain kind of way redeem themselves, mm -hmm. right? That, you know, anytime you see that on TV, you warm to a person because it makes them human. Mm -hmm. So y she will get a lot of votes, but I still think Dina and her, you're right, I think Dina, I think Dina will see that. Right, you know, and be like, no, this is my territory. Maybe and, the clash you know. of the alpha females. We love an alpha, don't we, Dr. Funke? <laughs> we say it whenever we can. Um, who will come out on top in the eternal battle of insiders versus outsiders? Ooh. I think the outsiders will come out on top. Mm -hmm. And who in the group of the outsiders? I do definitely think Dina. So who else will we see, um, do you think, from, from that group in the final? I think Dina, Luke A. Mm -hmm. Adam. Adam. Uh, yeah. Maybe, but I'm not sure. But definitely Dina. For 100 percent and maybe Zara. Okay, yeah, do you do you agree with that? Yeah. I, I think so. I just want to know how um, Adam keeps his perm so strong. <laughs> <laughs> how That's where well, all of his power no, lies. He uses the hair straighteners and inflicts this ghastly smell on the entire house for the next. I don't doubt like Caroline could run about that all day, <laughs> um, <laughs> but only time will tell uh, whether the reign of the outsiders please. will be triumphant. They could just talk all day. <laughs> just uh, hot but hot the outsiders will be triumphant because they are so manipulative. Jamie, my love, who is your money on? <laughs> Uh, well, you know what I say, Alice. Victoria to win. Uh, hello to all my Facebook friends that I'm talking to on the official BBUK website. So my prayers have been answered. Last week, grubby old Ian. This week, lovely, well-mannered, fragrant Charlotte. And she comes with an exclusive too. Check this out. Mm -hmm. Did you think it'd still be on now? No. You're proud of me? Mm. Yeah, I'm very well liked. I don't let you down. Forget I'm proud of you, no. big boy. I've not let you down for jumping off. No. Shut up. What, so he tripped? <laughs> no, he didn't trip. He says he, says he did. He says he did. There's no way he did. There's, one, there's only one person that fell off, and that was Becky. Hi. Yeah. Luke okay, claims he fell off. Hmm. He didn't. I am one clumsy bastard. Huh? No, Luke wouldn't have fallen off. You're no. too focused. I won't focus. Yeah, I know. Cook your shit. I'm it so was too focused. Yeah. Good. They came out here and he was lying flat on his stomach. Yeah, you know why? Probably because the only reason why they probably stayed on because of him. Yeah, I know. And that's what, that's what I knew. What? That mm. they were only staying on because of me. But then I was like, thinking, it's just, I can't be really sucking, I'm getting sucked into this game. 
Right, so it's Sunday and that makes it pub quiz time. Oi, Caroline. Oh, Caroline. God, the pub quiz. Caroline. Oh. Why do you like hate the pub quiz so much? I literally despised it. Why? I just I don't like I don't like exerting brain power or thought or like oh it involved movement and oh it was awful. Wait a second, you don't do anything else in that bloody house. It was so awful. I dreaded it. I, I literally I, I dreaded it so much. I was counting down the minutes inside. Was it that obvious? Uh, yes. Really. You know you could, that's why you're out the house. Should have put more effort in. Well, <laughs> tough. They've got to do it again this week. Take a look. <coughs> Hello, boys. Hello. Hello. It's time for the quiz, pub quiz again. Pub yes. quiz. Hello. It's your favourite time of the week again. Hey. Are you ready? Oh, yes, sure. go on. No more enthusiasm than that? Yay! Yay. Which of these can be an ingredient of dynamite? Ooh. A, crisps. B, peanuts. C, protein oh. shake. I think B. Peanuts. Yeah. Peanuts. I've heard that. Yeah. Protein shake, I'd say. No, 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 no. I think it's crisps. Is it? Crisps. Mm. Crisps. A. Which British icons parachuted into the Olympic se opening ceremony on Friday? Wow. A. James Bond and the Queen. <laughs> B. David and Victoria Beckham. Or C. Keith Harris and Orville. <laughs> yeah. I think it's probably B. B. That's oh legendary. My God. Really? You think so? What, what did he? Well, I suppose wow. to fucking a puppet and a guy. What did or he? The, or the Queen and Bond. Unless it was um, just actors doing James Bond and the Queen. It's not... Mm. Not the real Queen, is it? What's the... What is A, like, the Queen is in the real Queen? <laughs> well, it's not going to be the Queen, so we can rule that one out. Yeah, it's not going to be a man and what, a puppet. What did they do? They, do? they parachuted into, into the, the Olympics. Olympics. Ceremony. The Queen and James Bond. No, B. 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 Oh, wow. Oh. If you think of Great Britain, who do you think of? James Bond, the Queen. James Bond, the Queen, A. I would say A. Yeah. yeah. Who has been revealed as a new judge on American Idol? Ooh. A, Lady Gaga, B, Mariah Carey, C, Amy Childs. Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey. It makes sense. Oh, Lady Gaga, I love her. Uh, I Mariah Carey. Yeah, I think Mariah Carey. I think Lady Gaga. Gaga's got too busy scheduled to do Carrie. that. Mariah Carey. What surprise did the great leader of North Korea reveal this week? A, he's married. B, he's divorced. C, he wanted Benedict to win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Benedict. Communist leader. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, knows? I don't even know who career is. Yeah, but if he got married secretly, that would be quite scandalous. True. Uh -huh. So should we say divorced? I don't know who it is. I don't know. Who. Girls, we all agree divorced. Yeah. B. Yeah. B. Let's just go for A. Who won this year's Tour de France? Ooh. A. Bradley Wiggins. B. Bradley Walsh. C. Boris Johnson. Oh, a. a. What's Tour de France? Racing. I thought it was cricket. What is Tour de France? It's a cycling race. Oh. Oh, right. Okay. Hey. <laughs> I'd say Bradley Wicked. Bradley. Bradley Walsh, it's not him. No. no. Boris sounds familiar. No, Boris Johnson. And we've, no, not, and, and we've not said C yet for anything. No, no. But Boris Johnson, do you know who Boris Johnson is? No. <laughs> it's E. E. Oh, Jesus. Boris Johnson is... Like, like an MP, he's not like an MP, oh. he's like, he does the cancer sort of bit of London. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you for completing Big Brother's Bit on the Side pub quiz. Awesome. Thank you. Mm. Oh, I think we did well there. Oh. It's so funny, Boris Johnson was on a cycle. I reckon we did well then. <laughs> We wouldn't give an MP3 player to a tramp, but we would let them sit in our audience. Uh, now, that's what I call generous. Uh, someone else who is generous to a fault is Jamie Hillary East. Jamie, what's going on? How do you know my middle name? Uh, generous is just one of my many faults. Thank you, Alice. So tonight's band words are 50-inch TV. Who have we got first? Um, Antonia from Luton. Antonia from Luton. Hello, Antonia from Luton. Hello, Jamie. How are you? Not too bad in yourself. Very good, thank you. What would you like to talk about? Um, firstly, I just wanted to say hi to Caroline. And, um, Can we get Caroline? She, Hold on um, a second, she there she is. She handled really well on Friday with the addiction and everything. I don't think I would have been so brave. See, you have got a fan, Caroline. Oh, yeah. that was Antonia from Luton. Yeah. I am a massive Caroline fan. Yeah. Jolly good. Um, oh, even do the accent. Sorry, carry on. 
also a massive Insiders fan, and I think I'm watching a completely different show to the rest of the nation. Are you? Um, Is it The Bachelor? Luke... Pardon? No, sorry, Carol. <laughs> yeah, Luke Hay and um, Adam are the bitchiest housemates, yet when anybody bitches about them, it's considered bullying. Why is it okay for them to do it? Yes. They're like the most bitchiest and manipulative people in the house, but yet nobody else seems to see that. Has there been a housemate this year that hasn't been a bitch or uh, a bit backstabby? Well, I thought Sarah to a certain extent, but she seems to be changing a little bit now. A little bit. It's getting, to, it's getting towards the final. Their eyes are on the prize. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, totally pro-insiders. Outsiders are lame. OK, well, that's a great quote to leave it on. Thank you very much, Antonia. Who have we got on line two? We've got Miss Samantha from Cornwall. Miss Samantha? You sound like a dominatrix. How are you? I'm very good. Uh, James, how are you? Shit, I was right. <laughs> ten out of ten. Uh, what would you like to talk about? Well, the Olympics. <laughs> actually, the Olympics. Uh, did you... I know you're a busy man, but did you actually see the opening ceremony? Do you know what I did? I did, it was good. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Absolutely. What do you think? Uh, Danny Boyle. Excellent. I, well, I, 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 obviously, I obviously recorded it on my, uh, my hard drive recorder uh, after watching Big Brother and BB Bots. Uh, I thought yes. it was very good. I thought Danny Boyle did a very good job. Yes, it, we've had an excellent year. Jubilee, Olympic, you know, really good. Great, yeah, you know, God Save the Queen and all that. Yes. Have you read a certain book? Am I allowed to ask? What, 50... Uh, uh, I did. All, this, all, this, all the pages were stuck together. Couldn't get to the end. Thank you very much. Uh, who have we got on line three? Jackie from Manchester. Jackie from Manchester, how are you? Hi, Jamie. I'm fine, thanks. Can I just say really quickly that I absolutely Sorry. loved Caroline. Wow, another Caroline fan. Yes. They're going to think it's a fix, you know. They're going to fix these calls. Uh, definitely not. Can I, I want to talk about Scott. Okay. Right, I, I just can't believe how he's changed since Caroline's gone out of the house. I think what's happened is he's heard the booze and he's gone into the uh, diary room, obviously, slagging Caroline off. But I think a lot of what uh, Scott used to do was instigate things that Caroline said. And he's, he's totally, totally changed now. I really did like Scott, but now he's gone right down in my estimate. And I, don't, I did want him to win, and I don't now. Who, who do you want to win? Do you know what? That's a really hard one. Definitely, none, definitely not Adam. Definitely not um, Luke. Uh, Dina, possibly. Just say a name, any name. Um, oh, oh, gosh. Dina. Dina, thank you. Who have we got online? Whatever line we're on now. Fine. Twelve. <laughs> got Lainey from Shropshire. Lainey, how are you? We've got a very quick one. Yeah, hi, it's Lainey from Shropshire. I know that. Get to the point. I'm, I, oh, I've got such a beef about conniving Connor. Okay. He he makes innuendos to, uh, to Bitchy Becky and everybody else on the inside and they take those up and uh, um, enlarge them. I know. Um, it's all about the outsiders. You know, I hate he innuendos too. Um, I'll give you that one. Uh, that's all we've got time for now, I'm afraid. It is, of course, nominations day tomorrow and I can exclusively reveal that the housemates' friends and family will be nominating on their behalf. Ooh. I know, you've got to have something to say about that, so call and leave a message on this number and we might get in touch tomorrow night. But now, just when you thought this series couldn't get any more exciting, here comes Task Team's Natalie Jennings with a white room-shaped bombshell. <laughs> My fellow Americans, it's President Jennings here, soaring over the task team like Air Force One. Last week we saw that citizens in the Big Brother house take on the challenge of the party task. Yeah! Uh, uh, God bless those patriotic heroes. Anyway, we're sending our housemates into the most important place in the USA. A place I like to call home, the White House. Uh, the white room. Sorry? The white room. Uh, but, but I've put on an American accent for... and you're holding a flag. OK, so I've now actually read the brief and I'm going to tell you a bit about the white room. It's a huge task. So huge, in fact, that I'm going to have to grab this carefully placed cone and show you the white room! Oh, they said it would be white. Ugh. 
Three housemates will be entering the white room. I won't reveal what lies inside, but I can say, rest assured, there will be some grand prizes at stake and obviously some twists along the way. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to try my hand at being the president again. I ask not what Big Brother can do for you, but what you can do for Big Brother. Very mysterious, Jennings. Uh, right, I have some facts about the white room for you guys. So uh, it starts on Tuesday. I'm going to involve three housemates. Plus, someone may win a pass to the final. Yeah, that's right. Yes, that's right, Caroline. Uh, three housemates in a white room together. Who would you put in? Um, okay, so someone to win a pass to the final, Connor, obvi. Okay. Um, yeah. Who would you want to be trapped in a room together? Um, <laughs> someone hilarious, like Becky, Luke and Adam, or something hilarious. Like Sadistic that. as ever, I like it. <laughs> uh, a pass to the final, who do you think uh, wants it? I think the person that wants it the most is Adam. Yes. Okay. I you think agree? Adam really oh, wants God, it. Yeah. Not saying he doesn't deserve it, but he wants it. He doesn't deserve it. Who do you think wants it, Richard? No, I, I agree. I reckon Adam does. God, there's such a united front today. It's because yeah. they're so nice. Yeah. 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 Who do you think really needs it, though? Who needs a pass? Ooh. Connor. Presumably. Yeah, why do, yeah, why do you think Connor? Because he's such a nice guy. <laughs> Just a soul like, applauder there. He's such a nice guy, but I'm worried, I'm worried the public won't see it because obviously, you know, Mr. Manipulation may, may, may you know, turned on him yesterday on the box task and the public always go for that, that person's opinion. So, who knows? But he's such a nice guy, he deserves it. Dr. Funky, who, who do you think needs it, needs that protection? Well, I think, I would like to say all of them, but obviously I can't say that. Mm. Maybe <laughs> Scott. Okay, you think Scott needs yeah. it? Yeah, I think Scott might be in a bit of danger this week, so... Oh, she just leaves us with these little bombshells. <laughs> uh, after the break, Jamie will be reading an extract from Caroline's Gop Yard Diary, uh, and we'll be bringing you the latest news and exclusives what? from the house. Enjoy the ads. What is my Side. We'd love to stand on a box for 12 and a half hours, but to be quite frank, we really can't be asked. Time for the news. At 3.30 p.m., the housemates were given the opportunity to win a Sunday roast, but only if they confessed all of their sins to Big Brother. Forgive me, Big Brother, have I, because I have, for I have sinned. Um, I have been very brutal with my words. Um, like these last couple of weeks, um, like saying horrible. I'm like I'm not a bitchy person at all. Like, but like little things just irritate me, and I don't mean it to irritate me. It just does. Forgive me, Big Brother, for I have sinned. I maliciously hid Caroline's croc one off and a number of her hairbrushes, including her beloved hedgehog. <laughs> and why did you feel the need to do this? Because she was nasty to me. I was wanting to take out revenge. I'm ashamed. So, Caroline, the mystery of the missing hedgehog is solved. Sorry, it was blatantly obvious here, he but he should be ashamed. That's ridiculous. He's like 30 years of age and he calls me a mature. Are you joking? Sneaky little bugger. Yeah, uh, ridiculous human being. <laughs> As housemates had confessed to so many sins, Big Brother thought it was only appropriate that they had the chance to absolve themselves, which meant Luke had to teach Ashley how to cook. <laughs> Now massage it yes. like you're massaging the oh, God. balls. Mm. You need to get the carrot like that, lengthways, and slice it. But watch your thumb. Please watch your thumb. Oil? That's it, perfect, perfect, really good. Uh, oil, yeah, coat, coat the potatoes with oil. A nice coating, all round coating. Yeah, a bit more, don't be shy. Amazing, that is. Is that perfect. good? Very perfect. good, very good, very, good. very impressed. Ashley's professional. Yeah. Ashley the chef. Cooking. Professional carrot cutter. Mmm, <laughs> a roast cooked by Ashley. I bet the housemates couldn't wait for dinner. Uh, later this evening, it was the boys' turn to repent. Adam had to spread the love, and Luke S had to keep his clothes on. This is what I'm trying to say. What's the point of us doing this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got it out. One, two, three, four. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Hold on before you touch it. Let's get one in. Okay. 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 Oh, I'm not counting. <laughs> <laughs> you smell quite nice. Thank you. Mm. Mm. I, I, I smell it. Mm. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
seven tops, two jumpers, a pair of jeans, a pair of tracksuit bottoms, two pairs of shorts. Ah, so that's what he looks like with his tops on. Uh, now that's the news done and dusted. But what the heck is happening in the house right now? Richard Blackwood, are you there? Yes, I am. I'm actually here in the gallery, a very important room, as you can see. Not a lot of people can come in here, but, you know, I've just got it like that. But You're listen, special. first of all, groundbreaking news. Ashley has actually given an official apology to Adam and Luke A for her involvement in the chocolate incident. Oh, okay. Yes. Some harmony. Yeah, I'm sorry, Carla. I know you're there right now thinking that's really out of order, but <laughs> I'm just reading what I'm seeing here. She's saying that she didn't realise it would affect them so much in the house. Oh, wow. Okay. That's some, nice. That's heartfelt. Yeah, you see, she's going to get some votes for that. <laughs> see, what's, see what's going on, Caroline? See what I'm saying? Anyway, Becky has decided that something has changed in her face. Okay? What? Yeah, something's changed in her face. Since being in the house, something has changed in her face. I personally can't see anything that's changed with her, but she's saying that it's changed so much that she's going to look in the mirror for one hour to see if she can see what the change is. She's not moving from the mirror. She's That's stay plenty there. of time to be looking, yeah. Anything else? Yeah, um, uh, Big Brother called Dina to die room. Now, this one I find interesting, to say to her that she needs to know how to remake her bed because it's not acceptable. Now, I just want to know what kind of bed, have you, what, what kind of situation is the bed in where they have to call you in? That's like your mum saying, clean up your bedroom. When you're 10, 11, that makes sense. Richard when you're Black, in your 20s, we want hospital corners. No, oh, <laughs> is that what you want? <laughs> Okay, well, We're quite strict. Yeah, well, I, hope, I hope so, because that's really nasty. Adam, Luke S and Connor had a guy chat. Okay, oh, nice. Adam was asking them who they thought was the worst housemate of the year. Luke S said he couldn't live with Chris. And Adam and Aaron, Adam said Aaron, <laughs> Adam said Aaron as he was so far up Luke S's ass. I mean, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that on TV, but it's gone you out now. You just said it. Yeah, it's, it's gone out right, now. Sorry, Mum, it wasn't me. It's on, on the card. And finally, Dina asked Adam if he enjoyed all the hugs. He subtly let on that he didn't enjoy all of them, but he wouldn't say who. Oh, no, we shouldn't have said that. Thank you, Richard Blackwood. Anytime. Uh, right, I'm with Charlotte in digital. I get a new person every day. I think you're I trying know. to avoid me. Yeah, I've been hiding, sorry. I know you have. Yeah. I know. Uh, so what's going on on Twitter? Oh, lots. Well, a lot of reaction to Jamie's red jeans. So absolutely loving that. Oh, really? Yeah. Was, was, that, was that jeans. trending? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Hashtag red jeans. He's loving. got more belts than I have. It's ridiculous. Yeah, um, and apart from that, yeah, a lot of um, talk going on about Luke S and his sin conversion earlier. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, we can say that he did actually tell Ashley about the whole sort of chat he had with the agent. But So he, she knows about Bachelor Gate. She does, but he did kind of uh, change the story a little bit to make it sound a bit better. So, oh, OK. Sugar-coated. Mm -hmm. um, what are people saying about the twist, about Friends and Family nominations? Oh, loving it. Loving Absolutely it? Loving it, yeah. Tell me, Charlotte, uh, tell me. Well, Wayne G. Harper says, what a brilliant idea. We agree. Uh, and SG47, I don't know if there's a robot, and it says, uh, <laughs> that's a hilarious, amazingly incredible nomination twist. So, here we go. I, oh, love, I love all oh. this praise. Yeah, we've got Fudge Nuts again. We love Fudge Nuts. Oh, uh, always, always on the Twitter Fudge I know, Nuts. I love him. He says, uh, they, should have, uh, they should have the, face ma the housemates face to face when they uh, do the real. They might do, so, you know. I wonder who they'll pick for each person's friends and family, though. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Very interesting. What if they've got an agenda? What if, yeah. what if their mum really hates someone? Exactly. This could be absolutely disastrous. Huh? Um, it is, of course, nominations tomorrow. Yes. Would you like to tell me something about that, Charlotte? <laughs> yeah, of course I do. <laughs> uh, yes, as ever, keep an eye on channel5.com forward slash Big Brother and facebook.com forward slash Big Brother UK tomorrow for details of who's up for action seek and how to vote. Done like a pro, I love it. Just about um, got it out. No, you did, that was brilliant. Yes. Uh, that's it from us a uh, lot for today. Tune in tomorrow on Five Star at 10 pm when Emma will be revealing, the, revealing those all important nominations results. Uh, next up on Five Star, another chance to see The Bachelor. Uh, oh. A rose for a rose. Oh, thank there you. There you go. Do you see what thank I did there? Um, okay, but now uh, here's Jamie with a story to spoil your sleep, your dreams, spoil everything. Tonight's story com comes from Caroline's Gap Yard Diary. Dear Diary, OMG Yar, so my gap yar has been going on rather well, Yar. I spent the first half of the yar in my pyjamas eating chocolate spread and watching daytime TV. It was amazing, Yar. But now I'm on this spiritual journey in Thailand, Yar, trying to find myself. And if I wasn't staying in this ghastly hostel with this group of absolute losers who want to kill me, then I think I would be finding myself, Yar. But I found out, Yar, that I have the capacity to irritate people so much that they actually want to kill me, Yar. You totally won't believe what happened yesterday, Yar. There's this girl here who I think looks like a sweet potato, and I told her so. I mean, I wasn't being bitchy, Yar. She just does look like a sweet potato. 
Anyway, she got really annoyed with me, Yar, and asked all the other travellers to put their hands up if they thought I'd ruined their holiday. They all said, Yar. Then she asked them, do you want me to punch her in the face? And they all said, Yar, Yar, we do. <laughs> Unbelievable, Yar. Then she punched me, and not just once, yeah. She said some ludicrously horrid things to me, but everyone loves her. All these losers even said they wouldn't piss on me if I was on fire, which is just like <laughs> totally ridiculous. Why the hell would you want to be pissed on anyway, Ashley? But I don't, whatevs, I don't care. I'm going out tonight to see if I can repel some boys by looking like Moby Dick and pouring yogurts into my mouth. See you later, yeah.